when we are going to simulate in ETAP software the performing that uh, short circuit analysis we can see at the right hand side that duty this is for device duty three phase device duty and another option is IEC 60909 this is for three phase line to ground line to line and line to line to ground fault analysis so what are the purposes of these two and what are the differences between these two and uh, to perform this short circuit analysis what are the uh, criteria to be mentioned to be defined here under this standard i will discuss in this video so let's start here first of all for this device duty what we will do we will do this briefcase study editor here under this standard tab here you can see the maximum short circuit current max you need to select this max where the c factor will be considered considering this less than 1 kb 1.05 is the c factor between 1 kb to 230 kb the c factor is 1.1 and greater than 230 kb modus level the c factor will be considered as 1.1 so you need to select this max okay and now perform this device duty but before performing that device duty uh we need to we need to be very much clear about this oh, what oh, why this is required why this device duty to be performed this is required this three phase device duty is required to be performed to select the proper proper protective devices like circuit breakers what will be the circuit breaker ratings what will be the you know that uh, whatever the incoming bus coupler and outgoing circuit breakers device duty so whether we are going to um, select the proper circuit breaker sizes or not so that is the main criteria why we need to perform this device duty so now if we run this device duty we can see that all uh, the short circuit currents here so let's say this is 6.369 6.369 kiloamps this is at 6.6 kb bus so this is a device duty and if we check if we check uh, the uh, you know that uh, analyzer source circuit duty analyzer here you can see this uh, under this sc y under this sc so we can compare we can compare between between different case uh, studies what will be the maximum what will be the maximum value what will be the maximum rated ip what will be the maximum rated ib symmetrical or ib asymmetrical what will be the thermal thermal current withstand the thermal uh, energy efficiency that uh, thermal energy and also at which configuration which configuration it is coming whether it is single fed whether it is uh, dual fit configuration so all these comparisons we can we can uh, we can check at a glance from this analyzer report but to check that one we need to perform first the device duty so based on the device duty we need to consider the worst case scenario considering the maximum short circuit current so this is the purpose of this uh, device duty now let's uh, let's check this uh, 6.369 kilograms in the short circuit rating and and if we run the 60909 let's remind this uh, so this is 6.369 now if we run this 60909 and this is lg let's uh, select the fault type three phase you can see 6.369 here also 3.369 kiloamps here also 3.6.369 uh, kiloamps that means it is giving the same result that means this is the maximum case scenario under this maximum uh, short circuit case uh, scenario uh, both the results are same whenever we are going to perform this device duty three phase device duty and also 60909 if we run this one and if we check this three phase 
fault current so those fault currents are coming uh, same and uh, we can select the single line to ground fault as well so this is coming 0.314 kiloamps this is the single line to ground fault from there we can check okay so this is 6.369 kiloamps okay that's fine because under this condition also if we check the uh, briefcase that uh, study case editor here under this standard here we have uh, considered the uh, same maximum um, that uh, c factor we have considered the same c factor for both the cases now now let's say we are going to run the minimum short circuit minimum short circuit scenario so this minimum short circuit this is excluding the duties calculation so under this minimum short circuit condition you cannot uh, perform that uh, device duty because if we select this minimum exclude which excludes duty calculation now you can see at the right hand side this device duty you cannot uh, this button is uh, inactive you cannot perform this device duty but if we select this maximum under this standard tab if we select this maximum now you can perform the device duty you can perform device duty so we'll perform this minimum minimum short circuit condition and here we need to perform the IEC 60909 to get the minimum short circuit current here 4.485 kiloamps at 6.6 kb bus and also this is the single line to ground fault this is 0.285 kiloamps so this is this is considering uh, you know that uh, c factor this is the minimum um, minimum c factor values as per ic 60909 okay now i want to see uh, one more thing let's see this is this is under uh, dual fit dual fit configuration and also whenever we are going to uh, whenever we are going to perform this ic60909 and and we are selecting this three phase fault current so this is coming 4.485 kiloamps 4.485 kiloamps okay now let's see uh, what are the fault contributions what are the fault contribution by this motor let's say by this motor this is only 0 kiloamps this is only 0 kiloamps under max under minimum because we have selected this minimum under this standard tab we have selected the minimum uh, minimum uh, c c factor which is 0.95 and 1 for this voltage level for greater than 230 kb this is 1 so the fault contribution under minimum short circuit condition by the by the motor feeder is 0 kiloamps so this is under the dual feed configuration df configuration uh, also also if we select the under no load condition let's say there is a situation though it will not uh, happen uh, frequently this may be very very rare case where all the motor loads all the motor loads are isolated means all the motors are uh, stopped no motor is running under this no load condition only the transformers are energized only the buses are connected so i have created this no load configuration and here here i am going to run this minimum short circuit minimum short circuit uh, simulation so let's see okay so now also you can see this is the, the, the these are the minimum short circuit levels under this no load condition where obviously uh, the motor fault contribution is zero because no motor is running here no motor is running here and for from the transformer feeder this is as since this is delta start transformer the fault contribution is zero kilo amps so there is no 
there is no fault contribution from the downstream to upstream this is zero fault contribution because this is delta star transformers okay so what you can do you can do under this uh, normal configuration or or under dual configuration whatever may be you can simply select this uh, this minimum minimum option to get that uh, to apply that minimum c factor and simply uh, simulate this under this condition you can see this will give the correct result so fault contribution will also be zero in that case no need to isolate the motor no need to uh, you know for the simulation purpose no need to uh, create another scenario where the no load condition under no load condition all the motors will be isolated uh, that is not really required you can get for this also zero kilams that means there is no motor fault contribution so automatically it will take as for IEC 60909 so this was this was the update regarding short circuit analysis so as a conclusion what I have discussed in this video that's the difference difference between that uh, you know that uh, three phase device duty and uh, this IEC 60909 and how to perform that minimum short circuit um, condition that uh, minimum short circuit under this minimum short circuit what will be the C factors to be considered and and if you want to uh, define if you uh, want to use this user defined C factor in that case you can you can uh, select you can modify uh, this as per as per the requirement like this but here if you select this maximum that means this is as per IC standard you cannot change this one you cannot change so these are the values and also under this minimum you cannot change so i hope uh, this will be helpful uh, if you have any doubt you can you can put your comment in the comment box i will come back to you